in order to do examination of the abdomen first expose the patient from nipples to the knee here we are not exposing fully uh, as the patient mother is also standing here and uh, we will see the shape and size of the abdomen normally the abdomen should be the flat in size and it should be scaphoid in shape in cachexic patient it is globular maybe due to the fat fetus fluid flatus or the feces we will see the movement with the respiration in males abdominal breathing is there however in females thoracic breathing is there we will see decreased movement of abdomen in generalized peritonitis and we will see that uh, uh, the movement should be seen in all quadrants of the abdomen after that we will see the symmetry of the abdomen we see the uh, bilateral symmetry is there or not is there any pear shaped swelling above the pubic symphysis which can be due to the distended abdomen bladder we will see for any tumor we will see the state of umbilicus normally it is retracted and inverted however it is transversely stressed in ascites it is everted in umbilical hernia and increased intra abdominal pressure we will see for any dilated superficial veins after that we will see any visible peristalsis which may be seen in intestinal obstruction or the pyloric obstruction we will see for any visible pulsation which may be of aortic pulsation in epigastrium which may be find in very thin patients we will see the skin here the skin is seen to be little bit dark we will see for uh, the skin color we will see for any scars we will see for any surgery or the burn scars we will see whether it is smooth or shiny which is usually seen in the distended abdomen we will see for line uh, linear nigra and linear albicans which is seen in the females in the case of pregnancy we will check whether the movements are equal in all quadrant or not now after that we will come to the palpation in the palpation first we will palpate abdominal muscles for any tenderness or any rigidity the lower way after that we will see the consistency normally the uh, abdomen is elastic in consistency however in tuberculosis doughy abdomen is found before that we should make the hip uh, thighs flex the abdomen so that uh, uh, abdominal muscles relaxes and after that we will see the temperature of the skin we will see all hernial sites after that we must not avoid doing per rectum or per vaginal examination while doing the abdominal examination after that we will do the palpation of liver in order to palpate the liver you should put your hands like this should be easy uh, should lie flat on the abdomen they should be able to uh, mold and you should never palpate like this this is the wrong method of palpation and this is the correct method of palpation after that we will go upward we will try to find out the lower border of the liver here uh, in this patient um, there is no uh, hepatomegaly however if you find any hepatomegaly you should see the surface of the liver you will see the margin of the liver you will see the consistency you will see for any tenderness and you must palpate where is uh, where the lower border of the liver is lying and after that you have to tell that if it lies particular centimeter below the uh, right intercostal margin after that we will palpate for spleen for in order to palpate for the spleen you go from here this way and you palpate for spleen here you will feel the spleen is there and in order to palpate for the kidney the bimanual examination is usually done in bimanual examination in a very thin patient you put your hands like this and put the pressure palpate it and from blow put a pressure on the kidney kidney is a palatable organ and when you will strike from the blow it will strike it this end you will feel the palatable organ which is usually the kidney you can do it and from similar way you have to palpate for left kidney if 
is there any dilated veins are there you must see the filling of veins dilated after that you will see for the percussion uh, air in the pleural sorry air in the abdominal cavity is there we will say it to be tympanic this is the tympanic note which you are feeling here we are doing the percussion and uh, if the patient is having ascites, you can see for fluid thrill, for shifting dullness, for puddle sign and the under percussion we will also palpate the upper border of the lever. I am telling just now for the upper border of the lever. This is the way here lies the upper border of the lever. Now in order to see the shifting dullness, sorry I am telling the fluid thrill. Ask the patient to hold the hand like this, put it here, spread the bow, and after that we will strike here and we will feel any thrill which is being transmitted there. We are asking the patient to do so so that uh, the thrill do not transmit due to the fat. In order to help it for the shifting dullness, we do the percussion here, from here we will go down, down and we will see the dullness here and after that we will ask the patient to Udhar move karo, Ask the patient to stay there for about 1 to 2 minutes and after that we will do again percussion here and similarly we will do the percussion till we find the dullness. So this way dullness has shifted from this point to this point so it is known as shifting dullness and after that we will do the auscultation of the patient.